why should you script your YouTube videos at all? Why can't you just do a freestyle, come and stand in front of your camera and say whatever you want to say? Well, I have three reasons why you should script your YouTube videos every single time. Have you ever failed? Are you listening? Damn. So the question is, why should you script your YouTube videos at all? Well, first of all, it saves you time in editing because scripting itself it's an act of editing, just that you are editing your text as compared to when you've shot the video and you are finally editing video. And it saves you time, it also saves you storage space because it's easier to edit text than to edit footage of a video that you have shot, especially when you need to sync the audio and the video. Also, video takes up more storage space and takes more time for you to film. So scripting is a more efficient way to create videos. Secondly, scripting it's essential to ensure that your videos are exciting, engaging, and entertaining. While scripting, you can plan the suspense, drama, comedy, and whatever kind of emotion you want the user to feel whilst watching your video. Now, the last thing I would like to say about scripting is, it helps you to edit your videos faster. So typically when I'm editing a video, let's say I'm doing an iPhone 11 Pro Max review, Whilst I'm scripting, I put the kind of B-roll I want to show within the script. So once I'm editing, I know exactly what I need and it helps me to work faster. Now let's look at the actual process of scripting. Now there's no universally accepted way of scripting a video. I'm just going to share with you how I script my videos. And there are two main ways that I script my videos. The first way is I carry my phone everywhere I go. So like I could be driving, I could be cooking, I could be working, okay? And when an idea comes into my head, I just take my phone, turn on the voice recorder, and then see the idea as it comes into my head. Now the advantage of this is, it helps you to avoid forgetting some of the critical things you wanted to say when you are recording the video. So after that, once I get to my laptop and I actually start the scripting, I play back the video. And as I'm playing it back, I can use speech to text tools to transcribe the audio to text and then I have my full script. And then I can just edit it, add my research content, and then I come and shoot that video. The benefit of this is you have the idea as entertaining, as fresh as it was in your head. You know, sometimes you can be thinking certain things in your head, like even when you're singing, in your head, it sounds perfect, but once you open your mouth, it sounds different. If you're rapping in your head, you can rap flawlessly, but once you open your mouth, if you don't rehearse it a couple of times, it's difficult. So that brings me to the next way that most people write their scripts. Either you take your pen and your notebook or your phone, you type it into your phone, or you use your laptop or whatever, and you type exactly what you want to say. Now, in doing that, there are two main ways I go about it as well. So first of all, I could just write out pointers. So if I'm talking about this, iPhone 11 Pro Max. I could write the things I like about the iPhone 11 Pro Max, the things I don't like about it as pointers. So let's say I can write, it has good cameras. It has a very nice screen. It has, uh, it feels good in the hand, you understand? So I just write those. Then when I take each point, I now speak more about it because I know about the phone, so I can talk a lot on it. But there are times that you want to write every word that you're going to see. Let's say if about the cameras. I can see it has three cameras. One is a 12 megapixel ultra wide. One is a 12 megapixel wide. One is a telephoto camera, you understand? I write it word for word. And usually that type of scripting is for when I'm going to be doing voiceover. So I want to say it like it is. But the danger with that is sometimes you end up sounding very monotonous and boring, especially if you don't know how to speak in public and you don't have voice talent, okay? So you need to do a bit of training and learning on how to speak when you're doing a voiceover for it not to be boring. So you need to talk as if you are talking to the people. So those are the two main ways that I do my scripting. I don't know about you, but let me know in the comments below if you write a script at all for your videos or you just do freestyle and it works for you, let me know. Or if you write a script, how do you go about your script? Now, before I leave you, I have two tips for you. See, whatever you do, make sure you have a plan because prior planning prevents poor performance. Also, ensure that you do your research before you record, before you ever take your camera to record a video or you take your smartphone to record a video. Make sure you have done your research. You know the titles, the tags, the descriptions you want to use because it's not just the scripting which is going to help you 
to get views for your video but at least reset to find that people are actually looking for that kind of content what other people have said concerning that particular film or video you're coming to make and the gaps there that you want to address or maybe follow-up questions that people had which have not been addressed that you want to address when you do this you're going to get organic growth you're going to grow naturally on youtube you're going to get a lot of views so if you enjoyed this video hit that like button because it helps my channel a lot it helps my videos to be seen by more people Thanks, Bibri.